Whew, this is bringing me back to my relaxer days. Well, actually, kind of not. Relaxer did not do well with my hair. Everybody else, oh, welcome back to my channel. It may not look like it, but it's Walanda. Let's just sit down and just talk about hair. This is, I guess this is a uh, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. A six month, yeah, a six month update. I don't think this video is gonna be out by the time I'm recording this video, which is in May, so it's gonna be six months. But whenever it goes out, this is going to be my update when it comes to where I'm at with my hair. Um, it's just as of recent that I've been really deep diving into my hair content on here. I've always done hair content, but mainly it was just styling back in the day. As of late, if you guys have been staying in tune or getting the notifications or even seeing my videos on your feed, you've realized I am putting a lot more care and uh, yeah, maintenance content when it comes to my hair. And that is because I am on a journey to a hair length. And I was never that type of person to strive to get a specific length. I was always the type to go for health over length. And I realized now that I have my routine down packed, the next step would be to have different hair goals. So of course my main hair goal is always going to be healthy hair number one. But now that I know how to get healthy hair, how to maintain healthy hair, my goal is to reach whatever longest length I can. Right now, this is the longest my hair has been. Yes, for any of y'all who has not seen my silk press video, I'm gonna link it down below. This is my hair. This is not a wig. I have no bundles, clip-ins, wefts, nothing in my hair. This is all mine. This is the type of wig I used to be putting on back in the day. Now I have the hair that I bought hair for, you know, and that's all because I took care of my hair. That's all because I listened to my hair and I acted accordingly with my hair. I wasn't trying to fight against it. I was not trying to have it do what it didn't want to do. I want to say as if in the past two years, I have been really perfecting my routine, perfecting just loving and caring on my hair. It doesn't matter what routine you have, honestly, or it doesn't matter what products you are putting in your hair. If you do not see your hair as a delicate thing, then you will continuously talk down upon your hair and you will chavirel. Like you will always mess with it. You will always be rough with it. I've learned to just be delicate with my hair and to always think what is best for it. For example, I've cut out a lot of protective hairstyles that were just not protecting. They weren't doing what they were supposed to do. I used to love twists with braiding hair or with Marley hair. Those are one of the worst protective hairstyles for my hair because my hair is out, my hair is, it gets entangled with the braiding hair or with the Marley hair and it breaks every single time after I take it out. So I knew that was a no-no and I quit doing that since like a while back. I don't do those anymore. I'm not returning to those because at the end of the day, they were not benefiting my hair. A whole bunch of products. If you guys don't know, I am uh, use what she got in her stash and just trying to minimize all the hair products that I have. Like I have half a bin of hair products now, which is good because I should have recorded it. But the amount of hair products that I either gave away or threw out right before I moved here to Dubai, it was ridiculous. It was embarrassing, to be honest. To be fair, a lot of them were products that I would get when I go to events, hair events, or companies would send to me. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really much buying, actually. I wasn't really much buying hair products, but I had so much in my stash. Like, underneath my sink, I had two big bins of hair products in Atlanta and 
I knew some of them my hair didn't like, but I still had them and I still kept them. And then over time, I would forget my hair doesn't like it because it's still in my stash. I would gravitate towards it again, eventually when I'm like going through my stuff. And that alone can be very damaging. If your hair strips dry or it's just too matted when you use a certain product or it just doesn't clean it properly or it doesn't moisturize it properly and you keep on going towards it your hair is like yo i don't like this leave me alone don't don't put this on me but yeah we think oh our hair is just tough our hair it just doesn't cooperate when we are putting everything that it clearly tells us it does not like so i had to definitely minimize my stash and hone in to what my hair thrives on and if that product end up not working anymore i know not to rebuy it and i've learned not to buy backups just in case my hair goes through it and just does not want that product anymore like i will have one cream moisturizing cream i will have one conditioner one type of detox shampoo one moisturizing shampoo and when i get through that it, if i'm almost done and I'm getting through it, then I know my hair still likes it, I will buy it another one. Or I would just try something different. But trying to get backups after backups when I haven't even opened the one that I'm about to use, but I already have three, four backups, it just doesn't make any sense. And I understand there's a, there are a lot of products that probably are gonna get discontinued or we just love so much, but if you the type of person and you know you're going to try to try out other products, then there's no reason to get 50, 11,000 backups. Do you understand? So I've learned to diminish my stash. I've learned to keep my hair care to a minimum. And I've learned to really enjoy my wash day routine. I look forward to my wash days. And that is because I only wash my hair once a month four to six weeks. It all depends. I know that is like my, I'm not going to say my me time because it still work and it still could be annoying, but it is literally my self-care time where I know it has to be done. And for me to, you know, I don't have a problem looking forward to it because it's my hair. You know, I adore my hair. I cherish it. I I make sure it is healthy, just like my body. Everything on me, I make sure it is up to par. And that's the same way for my hair. So, yo, to be honest, I don't know where this video is going. I'm just talking about hair. Okay. It took me a while to get here. And honestly, I don't even like silk presses, to be honest. And I say this because I'm a curly girl and I realized that since I was relaxed. As soon as I transitioned over to uh, natural hair, I was in love and, I'm, and I've always been in love. I am a curly girl because I work out, I sweat a lot. <laughs> Not even only like we're just working out, just my body just sweats, not, you know, just sitting down. But if it's hot, if, the, if it's clammy, if it's hot, I start perspirating really, really hard. I know that about myself. So I don't like bone straight hair, one. Two, I love to see my curls pop. I love the fullness of my natural hair. And I have very fine, very thin strands. I have a lot of hair. I have density but i have thin strands of hair so when i am curly i have volume and i love it but when i'm straight it's kind of a little more flat like right now i like it yesterday when i first did it i was like oof because it was straighter and i'm like mm, i don't like the straight look like i don't like bone straight looks on me i like volume big hair that's that's my vibe don't come for my ends. I already know. I still got to trim them. And I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done playing with this. For this 72 hours I'm about to have it in for. Because after that, it's about to get wet and go back curly. Because this is a lot of maintenance. This is a lot. Anyways, y'all know I'm not the girl to do lynch check. 
I'm obsessed with my hair, but I'm not overly obsessed with my hair, if that makes any sense. Like, okay, so I'm obsessed with my hair. I'm just not obsessed with the growth process of my hair. Like, I let my hair do its own thing. I make sure I tame it because it needs to be tamed. But at the end of the day, I let it do what it needs to do. I'm not the type of girl who sits and lymph checks every month, who sits and obsess about cutting ends, who obsess about, you know, different things when it comes to the hair. I don't do that. Who obsess about all of the concoctions and all that. Mm -mm. I let my hair do what it needs to do, what it wants to do, but I just make sure it's tamed and it's not embarrassing me to be honest. <laughs> it's like a mother raising their child. You know, you can't be too, what's that, helicopter mom, but yet you still let the child do its own thing and be its own person. So tips online, I take them with a grain of salt. If I want to try something and I know it'll be good for my hair, then I try it out. If I don't care for it, then I don't. But I'm not obsessed to wear every concoction up under the sun I have to try out. No, because at the end of the day, I want to continue to love on my hair and to give it what it needs. I don't want me to be mad at it because it's not growing as fast as somebody else's hair because I've done this one routine or this one concoction. I pick and choose what I want in my routine, what products I want to include in my hair. I make sure I am very bougie with what is put on my hair because... At the end of the day, it's my hair. If I'm not going to be bougie of what's it going on in my hair, then who is? No one. So, I mean, just like that with anything, with what I eat, with the people I hang out with, just you got to assess, assess everything. I did do my first link chat earlier this year, I think in February, I checked my link. So I have an idea of what I had going on. At that time, right now, I'm bra strapping. I think once I do my trim, I'm probably going to be a little bit over bra strapping again. I, I don't know. I feel like my bra strap is a little bit lower than other people's bra strap. Because every time I... Because I'm looking at other people here, I'm like, the bra strap is up. My, my bra strap, I feel like, is damn near in my mid-back. Mid like... I don't know. That's why I'm just going to go by measurements and that will help me to determine how much my hair grew, how much I'm retaining. I will be, I may do this again in six months. So probably December or January of 2024, I'll probably do another silk press so I can take a good look at my ends. That's the only reason I did this, to take a good look at my ends because at the end of the day, I don't care for my hair to be straight. I don't care for my length to be out because at the end of the day, I'm going to wet it again or I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it in protective hairstyle. I think I'm going to braid it up, but it's going to be put away. The curls are going to revert and I'm going to go about my business because I cannot maintain. I do, I can maintain. I just don't want to maintain this. I don't care for it. It's cute for the day, for the two, for pictures, for content, for video, and for um, making sure I, you know, take care of my ends, look at them, assess them. But after that, for the day to day, especially it is summertime in Dubai, I'm not about to sit here walking around with uh, straight ends and poofy, poofy roots. I'm not doing that. Absolutely. And I'm not moving my day around or moving my schedule around my hair. No, I'm not. That's not a sustainable lifestyle for me. So I probably will do this again in six months. I probably will stick to putting heat on my hair every six months. Right now, I think it's to get it to 18 inches. By December, 18 inches, I think it's going to get me mid-back. So just trying to let it grow as much as I can. That's that's the whole plan. And yeah, just keep the full head of hair on my head <laughs> and not cut it. But you know, that's that's just a short plan. Long term plan is just to get it as long as I can. 
short term plan is 18 inches by December 2023. What else did I want to talk about? My hair is super soft and super. It's funny because I feel like there's nothing on my head. Like my hair is so soft and it's so lightweight. It feels like a cloud and clearly still it doesn't hurt hold curl like my hair never held curl even when I was relaxed and it's still doing this thing with not holding curls so my curls are gonna be dropping throughout this video what's new I'm surprised it's still up and going out on day two for those who are new here I've been natural since 2012 so this is 11 years natural and last time I big chopped was 2017 so six years since I big chopped but then the last time I actually got a haircut was 2017 no did I say 17 2020 sorry <laughs> three years since my hair was literally on I don't even think it was touching my shoulder anymore it was like I want to say glazing glazing or no, grazing grazing it was grazing my shoulder um so in three years I got it to bra strap length slowly now that I'm more intentional about length it's gonna take a shorter time for me to get it to what's the next mid back or to the 18 inches so yeah, um, I think that is all. Yeah, I think I brushed up what I wanted to talk about. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate at Wolanda everywhere else. I'll see you guys in the next video.